The Chief of Kenya Defense Forces, General Julius Karangi, has called on the new Somalia government to consolidate on the gains made by Amisom troops in Somalia and establish a long-lasting administration. General Karangi says though Amisom's mandate in Somalia ends by month end, he expressed optimism that the UN Security Council will extend the mandate to allow Amisom troops engage in peacekeeping as they pacify liberated areas. And also bomb experts today safely detonated an improvised explosive device that was hidden in a briefcase and left at the busy Gamadid Road Junction in Garissa Town. KTN's Patrick Amimo reports. The Garissa bomb was discovered by a hawk-eyed taxi driver in the morning when he saw a neatly wrapped briefcase abandoned at the Kennedy Road Junction, which is usually a beehive of activity for taxi operators. The taxi driver alerted the police about the suspicious luggage. Bomb experts, backed by the administration police and KDF mine experts, safely detonated the explosives in the briefcase. Police say whoever left the briefcase at that strategic location wanted someone to pick it and immediately explode since it had already been set. Bomb experts will analyze the debris in order to identify the source of the explosives. As bomb experts were detonating the bomb in Garissa, pupils and students from different schools in the country were at the Department of Defense headquarters to present 5,000 letters containing messages of goodwill to the Kenyan troops. Brand Kenya board members presented the letters to military chiefs for onward transmission to Kenyan troops in Somalia. KDF and their allies have captured over 200,000 square kilometers of land in south and central Somalia that was once under the control of Al-Shabaab, including the economic hubs. For example, in Afmando, they used to transact on average about 100,000 US dollars per day through the system they call the Hawala. And we just got in there in about five hours and they were gone. The enemy lost over 3,000 militants, not to mention the assorted arms and technicals that have been destroyed or captured. KDF troops last week captured the port city of Kismayu from Al-Shabaab. And I had the opportunity of meeting with uh, Johnny Castle, the Assistant Under Secretary of State for African Affairs. He was asking me, General, do you think your armed forces will be able to liberate Kismayu? I told him, we are better than the American. We will do that. The international community was urged to support Amisom's peace initiative in Somalia. Amisom's mandate in Somalia ends at the close of this month, but the UN Security Council could extend it. It is expected that the mission will transition into a UN peacekeeping mission. KDF troops continue to provide medical and humanitarian assistance to Somalis in liberated areas. We are doing a second borehole in Somalia to help the local people there. We just finished one in Badande, and you have moved on to Gerile. Meanwhile, in the port city of Kismayu, the security situation is getting better by the day. KDF Amisom commanders and the Somali National Army have held several meetings with members of the business community in Kismayu who want to have the seaport and airport reopened immediately. And from Somalia capital Mogadishu, Amisom spokesman Colonel Ali Aden has urged all Ashabob fighters in other parts of Somalia where Amisom troops are enforcing peace to stop fighting and surrender. Patrick Amimo, KTN Prime.